हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ पावर बी आई मोस्ट आस्ट इन टू वी क्वेश्चन इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन डैक्स सो बिफोर वी गो इन टू द वीडियो एंड इन टू द क्वेश्चन डू मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट ऑन पावर बी आई एंड अदर डेटा रिलेटेड स्टाफ सो लेट्स स्टार्ट राइट अवे ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज मोस्टली आस्ड is what is the difference or what are calculated columns and what are measures so basically calculated columns allow you to add new formula based columns to tables by generating values for each row and the way calculated column works are that they understand row context and they are great for defining properties based on the information present in each row so and uh, so they are quite useless when it comes to aggregation when it comes to sum count etc whereas measures are dax formulas used to generate new calculated values and they are not visible within tables as they can be only seen within a visualization measures are evaluated based on filter context and this means that they recalculate when the fields or the filters around them change so one thing we want to you know clarify here is that calculated columns understand row context and measures are evaluated based on filter context all right perfect also when comparing measures with calculated columns we should use measures when a single row can't give you the answer or when you need to aggregate a number of values right uh, second question is what is a calculate function so calculate function evaluates a given expression or formula under a set of defined filters it works just like sum if or count if in excel uh, which comes with a condition right and except it can evaluate measures based on any sort of calculation not just sum count etc so basically calculate in power bi works as calculate if and this is the syntax which uh, comes in power bi where you have the expression which could be an existing measure or a dax formula for a valid measure and you can see the examples here also a filter just like i explained calculate works as calculate if so you could apply a number of filters here as well all right next question what do you mean by iterator or x functions like sum x and how is it different from sum function so uh, this is also a very important question guys basically interviewers ask you what is the difference between sum and sum x so basically iterator or x functions allow you to loop through the same calculation on each row of a table and then they apply some sort of aggregation to the results of uh, aggregation which can be of sum maximum etc so basically they iterate through every row right and the sum function is a basic aggregate function that calculates the sum of a set of values and it is used when specific column needs to be present to do a sum on for example we need to do a sum on sales column and uh, sum x can actually you know calculate the value in each row by iterating just like i mentioned earlier and this could be uh, for example sales into quantity uh so this can done over an iteration of each and every row all right and this is the sum x syntax in power bi so you have the table name and then the expression so uh which could be a table could be sales and you know you could also apply filters on this table and then expression could be just single column or a calculation of a column of two columns basically it is not necessary to you know learn these syntax by heart uh, you should be very clear of the logic behind it and yeah you will be good enough for the interview all right fourth question is what is summarize function so summarize function is a table level function and what it does is it creates a summary of the input table grouped by the specified column so you give a table name and then it basically gives you a summary of that particular table and if you want to group by that table and then you can mention specific columns right and this is the syntax again 
you have the table, you have the group by column name and name and expression uh, except table other columns or other you know input values are optional so it's up to you to add them or not and again uh, you could learn this this syntax but it's not very important to learn it by heart fifth question is what is all and all except function this is also a very important question guys and all in all except functions are filter functions so all function returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied and all except functions returns all the rows in a table ex except for those rows that are affected by the specified column filters so all function gives you all of the rows in a table without any filter context but all except uh, returns you all the rows in a table except those rows that are affected by column filters and as you can see this example here all except then the table name and the table column uh, which removes filters from all columns of customer table except city all right question number six this is a very important question guys this is the most important question uh, people are asked in you know dax part of power bi so what are time intelligence functions and give a few examples of it so basically time intelligence functions enable you to manipulate data using time periods including days months quarters and years and then build and compare calculations over those periods so they let you play and do calculation over all the date stuff also in order to use any time intelligence calculation you need to have a well-formed date table otherwise you can't apply any time intelligence function and some of the important time intelligence functions are parallel period this returns a parallel period of dates by the given set of dates and a specified interval uh, then again same period last year this function returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted one year back in time from the dates in the specified dates column and then there is dates mtd month to date which returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the month to date in the current context so i will also be providing you uh, the documentation of microsoft on time intelligence functions so there are a dozen of time intelligence functions and uh, please make sure that you go through that microsoft documentation to have a better understanding of this particular topic all right and that was it for part two we'll see you again for power view and visualization which is in part three thank you bye bye